Hi, I'm Daphne. In this video, I drew the Inktober Prompt 19 Scorched. For this video, the top part of the head was inspired by the mushroom that was nicknamed Angel Wings. Oddly enough, the cap of the mushroom in real life resembles a, a somewhat flower. With little ridges and curved bits. It's quite thick. thick bi ah, I'm going to stop talking about that. According to research, the mushroom possess Possess? Process. Possess. An amino acid that kills off brain cells. And guess what the other symptom of the mushroom is? Death! Thought perfect if you ate this mushroom, this poisonous mushroom, your brain cells will probably feel like it's burning from the inside. And the angel wings really will take you the one way trip to the afterlife. So the angel wings mushroom and scorched the theme scorched the idea of your brain cells from the inside scorching away melting away just dying and then you eventually die from po possibly from brain damage or maybe organ failure lots of lots of symptoms of poisonous mushroom seems to be kidney and liver failure just double checked, even though there's research that mentions it contains the amino acid that can cause brain damage, which then leads to death. There's many sources mentioning people saying it's edible and tasty, and apparently it's a delicacy in Japan, which is slightly worrying considering the brain damaging effects from eating this mushroom, with experiments on rats that had apparently gave out the result of them dying within 24 hours, having kidney failure. Not exactly a mushroom you want to eat with those side effects. Apparently, according to a 2004 and 2009 report in Japan, most people that was affected had kidney issues beforehand, so they couldn't break down the amino acids. They think that may have been the cause of the 55 food poisonings and 17 that led to their deaths from eating this mushroom. Please do comment below if you would risk or have you ate an angel wing mushroom before. With deadly consequences. Or if it's not deadly, fatal. Very fatal. And it's been nicknamed as a Russian roulette mushroom. Sometimes you could be okay from eating it or appear okay. And then sometimes you just die from eating it. Started off by sketching out the outlines of this lady having her hand on her chest. Which, oddly enough, this mushroom has no reports of heart issues because you'll probably lose someone if they ate this mushroom. So you, yeah, you lose someone. So I did. I sketched out with pencil and then with pen, but then I've realised I d drew it too big for the proportions to be correct. So I tried to draw the ending of the dress to have smoke, have smoke lines to distract away from the proportions of the dress because it's too it's kind of missing half of the legs the proportion of half the legs if it's drawn complete and then it'll just look a bit lopsided with it disintegrating it's kind of covering kind of covering that fact I'm drawing the little shoulder things little branches little um, the mini caps onto her shoulders and then drawing freehanding the the chest bit and going back with the bio pen because it's easier to shade with the bio pen. Quite difficult drawing hands at this this small scale. I've accidentally drawn those typical doll hands and doodle drawings. It's a lot easier to draw digital because then you can go up close, draw the little fingers. And drawing the little funny enough this drawing end up not looking anything like the angel wings mushroom because of the the shading with the pen. Probably should have went with a pencil to make that lighter tones or some oil pastels to try to stick with the Inktober theme of inks for a majority of the drawing but I did end up with oil pastels at the end. Mm -hmm. I end up doing my original idea instead of the simple one I was going to go for Inktober. It's based on the the angel wings mushroom yeah. and the inktober scorched 
Originally, I was going to do a marshmallow burning. You turned you turn my sweat towel into a blue sweat towel. Yay! It was supposed to be white. Isn't it better than pink? Yes. You should be happy. Instead of a white towel, you get a stained towel. Do do. Yeah, we went on a date in uh, June. What, this year? Yeah. Then it's still fine. Just open it and try it. Just adding more tones or shading to the to the head, which is kind of, in a way, if you think about it, I've actually drawn the head, so it's kind of hollow because it's just the edges of the cap of the mushroom. So technically, I'm gonna pretend the brain is in the chest. So yeah, those those are her brains. She's touching her. Yeah, that's not the heart. That's the brains. Yep, touching her left left brain because if you flip the image then it look it looks like it's your right but in it'll be her left do you think it's because of the heat from like cooking yeah probably in the chocolate milk you want some cornflakes no thank you Yeah, you like that, don't you? Mm. You like that in your mouth, don't you? Mm. Fall on tastes like cheese. You got any more? No. Nope. I'm gonna do this one black and white. Yeah, that's a lie. I end up putting colours in it and ruining it. It's funny. Mm. Slightly lactose in as well. Lactose intolerant and you're still drinking milk. Yes. <laughs> you're smart. Just slightly. Added in some tones of the felt tip marker. Well, technically it's a permanent marker pen. Well, it's kind of running out of ink, so I'm going to be switching to a new marker pen at some stage. The permanent marker pen. Oh, all right. Still cornflakes. Cheap from Wilco's. The marker pen's not the not talking about the cornflakes. And then her. It looks like her right hand. No, her left hand, but it's actually her right hand. If you flip the image in the the same position you are sitting in or stiff in the right hand of God and the left hand of the devil the left hand has disintegrated into scorched smoke lots of waffling to spread through the time of this narration all about that symbolism all about that symbolism, the left and the right all have meaning, the head and the left eye, no right eye, her right eye is still there with her left eye is covered by the the folds of the angel wing cap. The mushroom must be tasty if people ate them, it must be really tasty. Apparently people used to boil it into water and drink it into soups.
can eat it some other ways. I will look that up right now. Started to try to do the smoke lines with the oil pastels and then trying to blend it in with the blue. It didn't quite work out. Ah, oh, well, ruined it. To make it look even, I just went with it and did it to the other smoke lines. Can't just change the technique halfway through on the same sort of smoke line. Otherwise, it'll look even more off putting. The white oil pastel oddly looks like a cream colour compared to this bleached white piece of paper. At first I was originally going to stop there with the black scribbled on but then decided to add some colour into the background just to see what happens and thankfully went through that route to make it look less uh, jarring. All about that experimentation. Experimenting. 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 Probably the worst thing to do, trying to outline smoke with black and then blue. These are quite harsh colours. Mm. Realised it didn't quite work to so try to blend it in to get rid of the colours. No, not the colours or harshness of the lines and then just pick out even more colours to shove on just to just to see what happens. was debating for quite a while whether to have a background blue or red and then I just end up going going with purple. It's a mixture of blue and red. And plus it's closer to the blue family. The colour blue family. Blue family colour. What am I talking about? I have no idea. It's two forty seven in the morning. Try to turn the colour a bit down with the white and then just realise I ruined it again so at some stage I just clawed back some of the oil pastel so the colours will take on the purple. So I've placed too much black as a starter as a starter colour to make it to make the colour background darker. You don't want it too vibrant. Or did I? That is a question. As you know, smoke is supposed to have be see through and see the background, so I kind of left it too white. Probably should have went paler purple and then put the white on top to make the smoke effect. So to try to blend in a bit more, I try to add white onto the outside to see if it's any better. It, it, at, one, at the stage of not caring about your artwork, you just start putting random other stuff on it and then it just... It goes downhill. Thankfully, it's, it kind of looks better with colour, kind of not. It's just te different techniques, trying out different techniques with the ink combo with oil pastels. That's the good thing about Inktober because it's daily challenge, you just don't put too much effort in it. Well, you do put effort in it, but you don't put too much thought about it. Once you have the idea, you quickly draw it and you're quickly trying to do it within that day. Like, for example, a doodle could take uh, um, less than an hour as a goal per day, just an hour drawing or but normally it takes about 30 to 40 minutes just to hash it out, see what happens, but then the narration ends up taking longer than that for some reason, and then I'll blow it in the video, take the rendering, the first batch of rendering, it, it took an hour to render, and then it takes a long time to upload onto YouTube. It takes a lot longer to render, no not render, it 
takes a lot longer to upload onto YouTube compared to a rendering and all that extra time takes longer than the actual drawing and then takes time to what's it called type up the descriptions and then just whack it up And this is the final drawing with the brightness and contrast edited with the little white highlight digitally drawn in. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and like our Facebook page for more content.